Shalom, Shalom Alaikum. It's a Dish Rama Shot of Menace. Welcome to Empowering and Preeminence Multimedia Productions. Before I go any further, I gotta give all praise to the Most High Yahweh, the Father of Yahweh Shai, pre and post incarnate into human flesh, and the Father of Abraham, the Father of Isaac, and the Father of Jacob. Uh, this is this is a response uh, video to the brother Black Ram 313. Salute to that brother, by the way. I've been following his work since, like, uh, I'm going to say maybe early early 2019, maybe like around January or February, maybe even March. And the first video that I remember encountering was the video that he did about how the woman should be chasing a man as opposed to a man chasing a woman. But I want to make a response to the video today um, about a video he did earlier today about about where is the man's values placed at all right um it, it is true that unfortunately a lot of brothers especially in this society in the western hemisphere you understand nuevo babylon nuevo means uh, i believe that's latin for new or spanish for new um so this is like new babylon this is this is like the resurface, the resurgence of Babylon, which deals with confusion, um, because this country man is full of authors of confusion. So, in this day and age, brothers in America, they place their value on material possessions, and it's funny because that's always been the woman's bread and butter. You understand? It's always been a woman's bread and butter. They go to they go to guy they want to punch, which is to place their value on, on material possessions. Like for instance, a woman feels even more valuable once a man puts a ring on it. You see what I'm saying? So because so so because she has a wedding ring, uh don't don't matter, you know, if if the diamonds are real or not, don't matter if it's a carrot or twenty four carats. She sees she 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 believes that her her value, her worth, and her appraisal has been enhanced. You understand? Because she's a bearer of a, a particular material possession to her aspiration to perverted desires. You understand? So men have unfortunately have taken upon the, the persona of the woman by believing that the value comes through material possession. Where your value, where your value actually come um, through ethereal possession. Um, I learned that word from Shaquille O'Neal from the movie uh, Kazam. And I remember he said uh, Kazam doesn't do ethereal, but I am Mr. Material. So I figured that if 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 a material is referring to stuff, then ethereal has to refer to something that's spiritual and transcendental. So when I bought his, uh, so when I bought a Webster's dictionary like around 2003, um, it turns out that yeah, ethereal is referring to the spirit world. So the man's value um, is through ethereal possession. A man is transcendental by nature. The woman is only transcendental um, when she is within the circuit of that man who's transcendental. And even then she has to meet certain criteria in order to prove itself spiritual, because there's, there's no such thing as a spiritual hole. You see what I'm saying? There's no such thing as a spiritual hole. Um, I'm gonna keep saying the man until the day the most high take me away from this planet Earth. If a woman has more than two sex partners, she is considered a whore. She is considered a whore. And she's no longer compatible, no longer congruent, no, lo no longer consonant for marriage. She has been demoted from being a wife to being a concubine at best, but at worst, just a straight up hole. You see what I'm saying? And your average woman, they place they place their value on material possession. They place their value on their vagina, which is also a material possession. You understand? And it's and it's a material possession really of that man. Because the woman was created to give the man pleasure. I, I taught this since 2014, just just not in public like in social media um such as youtube um for instance i taught that um 
the the womb the the woman was created, man, to 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 I forgot how I call it. I forgot how I worded it. I call it the uh the 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 uh the pleasurable triple S or something like that. Um uh, what is what is the what is the triple S? Sexually, socially, and last but not least spiritually. See what I'm saying? Spiritual is more of the focal point, while social and sexual is more of the perimeters, if you understand geometrical mathematics. There's something called area and a perimeter. The area deals with the center of the circuit. The perimeter deals with something that's outside, the external, the external uh, uh, part of the circuit. You see what I'm saying? So that which is external in the perimeter is more inconsequential and parallels to the, uh, the, the, the midsection, the area. So she has to be spiritual, you understand? Uh, she got to give you pleasure spiritual, spiritually. She got to give you pleasure uh, socially. She got to give you pleasure uh, sexually, of course. And she has to understand that a man must bear what I call the map cognition or the map mind, or the map mindset. Uh, MAP is an acronym for multiple addition plurality. I'm going to say it one more time. Multiple addition plurality. That's that's my way of saying abundance mindset. A man has to have a multiple addition plurality mindset. I know the last part can be tongue tied. Sometimes I, I get tongue tied myself. Multiple deals with more than one. Addition deals with more than one. You understand? Plural, which is how you get the word plurality, deals with more than one. So the man must bear the map mindset or the map cognition or the map conscious. You see what I'm saying? Any real woman has to understand that. Sarah understood that with Abraham. When she couldn't conceive seed, she didn't say, let's go through artificial um, um, insemination. She said, you know what? I'm going to give you Hagar. I'm going to make sure that, that, that you get your promise from the Most High. I can't, I can't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I don't want to take preventative measures of you to get your promise from the Most High because I can't conceive you see. So I'm going to give you my maidservant. When you think about it, bro, that's gangster. You understand? That's gangster. She loved, she loved her Lord, which is Abraham, so much. And she loved the Most High, the Lord of Lords. She loved those two so much that she said, you know what? Abraham, have at it. Pipe this woman down so you can get your promise. See what I'm saying? Now, now, now the Most High ended up revealing to, to both of them that even though it was a very noble gesture that she made, you understand? The real promise came through Sarah to procreate Isaac and Sabine and then eventually Jacob. You see what I'm saying? So, that's why I salute to a brother like Tazadak Shah because he said that many women, man, have to be like Sarah. Now, Sarah, she was still into woman nature, you understand? Periodically, every blue moon, you understand? When she lied in front of the Most High face, uh, by saying I didn't laugh, and she was, she feared for her life. When the Most High said, uh, "Did your woman just laugh at me?" <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh, that's in the 18th chapter of Genesis, I believe. So, um, I say all that to say that a woman has to understand that the man's that the man's primary value is through ethereal possession. You understand? Because a man by nature is transcendental. A man by nature is empyrean or empowering. Hence my my um my third Hebrew like media platform um as you see today right before you empowering and preeminence empowering deals with um that which is heavenly that which is spiritual that which is ethereal and preeminence deals with excellence it deals with uh preternatural supernatural powers supernatural paramount might you understand so um so if a man does not understand that he has to have what I call a map cognition I already explained it earlier multiple edition plurality a map cognition, a map mindset, you understand? He is devaluing himself. You understand? He is devaluing himself. You understand? So therefore, the woman is going to take advantage over him, and the woman is going to take precedence over his well-being. Shout out to the brother, the saint, and sinner, because I saw a video that he did. I might do a next video about um, how he broke down how Moesha, the, the, the show Moesha, uh, helped produce, you understand, um, Feminazism, you understand, and also you know more um, bare male blue pill shrimp simphood, you dig. 
So that's all I wanted to say about that, man. Um, Black Ram is always, bro. You always coming with that fire. You got one of the greatest content I've ever seen, bro. You understand? Um, in the red pill, I like to call it blood capsule. You understand? I'm from New Orleans. I just like to be different. You understand? Uh, I'm a blood capsule Hebrew Israelite. In other words, that's my that's my collegiate way of saying. That's my different way of saying um, red pill. You see what I'm saying? Blood is the color red capsule instead of pill. So I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a blood capsule. You heard me? So um, so for that man, um, y'all hit that like button. Y'all hit that share button. Y'all hit the subscribe button, man. Um, once again, salute to the brother on um, Black Realm 313, man, for coming with fire as usual. And uh, once again, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that share button, you heard me? Because um, I'm going to be coming with some fire content like this year, too. And for that, Shalom Aleikum. That is Hebrew, not Arabic, but Hebrew for peace be unto you. You understand? And, and until next time, bro, my name is Mashada Menace. You understand? I'm out here. Peace.